Oh my word, would you take a look at Vincenzo Nibali's specialised tarmac. Now, I was commenting just the other day on how Vincenzo seems to have lost his custom painted specialised. But it would seem it was because they are getting this ready. He has literally just taken delivery of it. In fact, we saw him taking his first glance just a few minutes ago. He seemed quite pleased, and why wouldn't you be? Now, his specialised standard tarmac frame set, so he always opts for a lightweight bike as opposed to an aero bike. And it's not the lightest frame set in the Peloton, not by a long stretch, but with his component choices, then it is a seriously, seriously good bit of kit for climbing. Now, one of the nicest touches on the paint job is the fact that he has his three Grand Tours commemorated on the top tube, just in case he needs any more inspiration when he's going into the red in the Dolomites. What about those equipment choices then? Well, Team Astana are sponsored by Campagnolo and Vincenzo actually chooses to ride their mechanical group set. So not the electronic EPS, he uses mechanical super record. Now it is gonna be a little bit lighter and perhaps also he prefers the feel of mechanical. I'm not entirely sure, but he's using an SRM chain set. So he's got his power meter on there. It's quite an impressive looking bit of kit, that spider, isn't it? 53 39 chain rings, and then he's got an 1128 cassette on the back. So this bike is ready for the high mountains as well as the plains of Italy. Nibley's running 175 mil cranks, which is relatively long for a rider of his size, but not out of the ordinary, I suppose. And at the end, he's got these aero look blade pedals. Now let's talk wheels, shall we? The Coroma S Plus wheels are seriously good looking. Only 12 spokes in the front wheel, but they're pretty chunky. They're uh, carbon fiber tubular spokes and those are bonded onto the hub there. So they're about as light as it's possible to get. That is a super, super cool wheel set. Of course, he'll change them depending on conditions, but you never see Nibali riding with really deep section wheels. Finishing them off, a specialized turbo cotton tubulars, which are supposedly the fastest in the peloton. It's quite a narrow 24 mil profile as well, but perfect for that rim width. The finishing kit is all supplied by FSA, so we've got a carbon seat post, carbon stem, and also a carbon bar, interestingly. Uh, and brilliantly, this is all Nibali's signature edition from FSA. So we've got the shark motif and also the three Grand Tour colours on there as well, commemorating his victories. It's quite a long stem, that 130 mil, especially when you mate it to the 56 centimetre frame he's got. So actually, it's pretty, pretty stretched out, although he's not slammed his stem. If you look closely, he's got two and a half mil spacer under there. So, Vincenzo, hurry up and slam your stem. Bar width, it's 42 centimetres, but being FSA's really rather nice compact bars, that does measure up pretty narrow, so it's more like a 40 when you actually get the tape measure out. Then finally, we've got an unmarked saddle. It doesn't take a genius to work out and that is a Physique Antares, and he's gone for carbon rails as well on there. Two last points to mention. Vincenzo's got a chain catcher down there, so he's not gonna run ship his chain when going from the big ring to the little ring, which is a good insurance policy. And then finally, you'll also notice He's got a speed sensor, and that's because the team is sponsored by SRM. So he's got his SRM head unit up there, which doesn't have GPS, hence why he's got that rather old school looking speed sensor. Old school, but effective. Are you the viewers ready for this? We're all ready. Turns out we are all ready because it's time to put Vincenzo's bike on the scales. I'm pretty interested, I'm not gonna lie. There's probably quite a lot of paint on this. That's one downside of having a posh looking frame. 7.05. That's a pretty lightweight bike, that. Well, I'm just gonna take one last step back to admire that bike. I just love that paint job. Vaguely reminiscent of some Colnagos of yesteryear. That is super cool. Now, if you wanna see more pro bikes here on GCN, then if you click just up there, you get through to our playlist where they're all collected in one handy spot. Or for more videos from the Giro d'Italia, which is where we are right now, then if you click just down there, you get through to that playlist. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to GCN. To do that, just click on the globe. And I'm just gonna stand and look at this again.